Hello Pisces. Thank you for joining me. This is your general reading for May 25th through May 20, May 31st. When I was meditating on your energy and shuffling your cards, I got the distinct impression that there's something that you're not acknowledging that you want. And it's like you're fighting against the fact that you want this. It's like you think it's too far out of reach or it's wrong or I don't know. Um, but once you acknowledge it, you'll be able to move forward. Okay. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. General reading. Don't forget to check your moon and rising as you may get more insights into this message or about something else or if this one doesn't resonate at all. It's your past, your present, and your future. And the reason for it all. Ooh. Could be Capricorn, but I'm thinking it might be the devil. Devil energy. What's under that? Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups tried to come out in another deck while I was shuffling it for you. So are you not acknowledging the fact that you wanted something to work out in the past? Oh, goodness. Five of Pentacles. Holding back. That's what I'm getting off of this card. Holding back, being guarded. In your presence, Three of Swords. Yeah, there's something in your past that didn't work out. And. Three of Swords with the Six of Wands, past heartache. Perhaps you wanted a past situation to work out more than what you're willing to acknowledge to yourself. But in doing so, you're not allowing yourself to grieve properly. You're holding back and you're not acknowledging just how deeply this hurt. This past situation. Mm, yes. In the future, beautiful page of pentacles. He's starting to express himself. The divine is helping him. Along with queen of wands. Beautiful. Moving forward. Going after what you want. Whether that's the past situation or not does not matter. All right. Ace of Swords. Ooh, Pisces, what you got planned? Okay, give me one second. Yeah, it looks like you're going to be writing or understanding. The, three, the broken heart energy. And then you're going to be taking action to overcome it with clarity. Finally seeing the past with clarity. Acknowledging the fact, oops, acknowledging the fact that it hurts you deeper than what you want to admit, that you did actually want a situation to work out. Now this doesn't have to be love. This can be work. This can be you wanted to move somewhere. You wanted to go to school. But not acknowledging it. Or knowing but not expressing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I think that this is very evident that we don't need to clarify. This is a general reading. So it's going to be different for everyone. Let's do the Page of Pentacles. Let's do the Page of Pentacles. 
Beautiful. Exactly. Temperance. You're going to heal by expressing it. You're going to get a new beginning because of this. Seven of Rods. You're going to be able to say now you have it. Now you mastered it. You can say that, that you're over it all you want, but it... Now remember, this is this is a general reading. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ton of Cups. Someone that you had, have, or wanted a family with. Or that you wanted to do for the rest of your life, if it's a job. You saw it as your future. Queen of Wands, please. What is the Queen of Wands for Pisces? What is the Queen of Wands, please? Strength. Queen of Swords. Wow, check you out. One of the Empress is going to come out. Ten of Rods. Beautiful. Because, because you take this action, because you take action to let go, you have the strength to do this, to cut this out and to put down those rods, to put down the burden of this. Yes, I think you need to write about it in just a journal to yourself, an email to yourself, in song. However, be creative with it. Ace of Swords, please. Ace of Swords. Nine of Swords. The Emperor. Well, got the Emperor instead of the Empress. That's all right. Queen of Rods. And on the bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. One second. Truth about the past causes depression because of how stifling, yet how beautiful. Mmm, no wonder. Stifling yet beautiful at the same time. You weren't free to be you. They never truly showed you how much you were appreciated. That can be work. That can be work. That can be family. That can be a relationship. You were not appreciated for who you are. But you get clarity in the situation and you'll be cutting out that devil energy. You'll be able to move past it. Yeah, definitely. New starts coming. New starts coming. Once you heal that broken heart. Yes. Okay, that was that was pretty short, wasn't it? What time? Oh, eight minutes. That was a little longer than I thought. That was a very straightforward message. I was not expecting that to be so straightforward. Capricorn and. Aquarius, oh my goodness gracious. Those were odd. All right, what is holding Pisces back the most? What fear, thought pattern, learned behavior, circumstance is currently holding Pisces back the most to do with this reading? Okay. Yep. It's imprisoning you. You don't have trust and faith. But you have the strength. You're not going deep within. You know it's within you. You're not letting it out. See? Express yourself. You're not expressing yourself. You're not expressing yourself. What is Spirit's guidance, please, for Pisces for this reading? For May 25th through the 31st, Pisces general reading. Sun, moon, and rising. Oh, don't forget we have a pick a card at the end. Pisces. 
Bear items, please. All right. Thank you. Really? Why? All right. I don't ask. I just do. Right? Okay. On the bottom of the deck, Prince of Winter, seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively. Sudden or unexpected cha changes. Yeah. Seek out a different kind of solution. But you need to do it decisively. Queen of Spring. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain balance between work and home. Believe in yourself. All right? Again, with the believe in yourself. Five of Spring. Opposing goals arising from differing opinions. You, got, you had different goals. Feeling at odds with yourself or others. Overly ambitious people. Yeah, you're at odds with yourself. And the other person could have been a little too ambitious, huh? Finally, mm, the illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry, the ego. Yep, exactly. Okay, so you need to take decisive action. You need to want to release this. You need to acknowledge it, just how deep it goes, okay? Trust yourself. Trust yourself. It doesn't matter. If you get a wild idea that you want to try something, that you want to do something, do it. As long as it's not going to cause you or anyone else harm. Where is this taking Pisces? Where is Pisces headed? Where is Pisces headed? Thank you. Ooh. Okay. Embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. It's going to bring you so much happiness to finally release this. Transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. It's going to be completely different once you finally let go. Wise leader. You are a beacon for others. You're going to help lead others. Okay, even if you do, it's going to be even much more so. All right, you're going to beautiful, beautiful place here, Pisces. Okay, this is your yes and no. If it's in reverse, it is a no. If it's upright, it is a yes. One, two, or three. And then the end does put a it usually comes together as a story for me. Bottom of the deck. Happiness, joy, fulfillment, contentment. No. Four of cups in the reverse. Yes. Five of cups in the upright. Wow. Yes, devil energy. What you wanted was the Ten of Cups. They didn't see your worth. Left you feeling like this, and now you're stuck like this. You're stuck in the devil energy. Nine of Cups. I hope you're not overindulging. Knight of Swords. Quick, decisive action messages finally king of cups wheel of fortune three of hearts and three of swords in reverse you can do this you can do this yes you absolutely can okay pisces that's all i have for you i will see you guys soon peace to you ciao